this right here is just going to be a little video on uh, my little vegetable and herb garden. Um, this right here is the only thing that I have in my garden that I'm not growing uh, organically. This right here is grown. I'm growing this hydroponically. Let me see if I can open this up, show you guys what's going on. Down inside this bucket. That's what you call hydro hydroponics. And this right here is the cracky method. Look how white and healthy those roots are. And I have my water down in the bottom of the bucket um, mixed with some hydroponic nutrients. So that's the only thing that I'm not growing organic. But this thing is so healthy and green, man. Um, I had to rebuild my soil this year. I had some problems with it. This right here is my Carolina Reaper plant. I had that growing over the winter time in the house. And uh, I set it out and those leaves just just sprouting all out but uh, I did something different that's uh, ginger uh, I had a problem with my soil and back when I had a barbecue business uh, I was dumping a lot of wood ashes thinking that was good for my soil um, but what it did is change the pH of my soil and my plants wasn't able to absorb the nutrients that it uh, needed to grow healthy so what I did is I um, filled in a lot of dirt with compost. So um, it's, I'm rebuilding the soil by using compost and the bacteria you're supposed to work with the soil and uh, create good bacteria and allow the plants to absorb the nutrients that they need. And I'm not using any chemical fertilizers this year. I'm, I'm mixing, actually I'm mixing up a batch of uh, what they call worm tea, like a compost tea. Um, let's go on down. And I also put some weed cloth in here up under this mulch. Let me see. And that's going to prevent the weeds, you know, the grass and stuff from growing up in there. And that mulch also is going to help keep that ground more so that means less watering. Um, that's a cucumber there. Uh, that's a zucchini. Zucchini. Uh, crook neck squash I just planted those uh, earlier this week they still looking pretty good that's a better boy tomato uh, these right here are Tabasco peppers and on this side is where my herbs I have uh, lavender um, that lavender plant smells so good and those flowers turn purple and once it's time to harvest those flowers you can make teas uh, you can extract the oil out of them. Uh, people make air fresheners. Uh, man, it's, it's all around good herb. Antifungal, antibacterial properties. That's a sage plant. There's another, um, whatchamacallit, uh, uh, lavender. And this right here is my rosemary. Um, this right here is my raised bed. That was a piece of oregano that I had growing uh, some years ago. And uh, it was just a little piece of it left, man. That last big frost we had uh, the year before last. Or was that last year? Uh, yeah, year before last, something like that. But anyways, uh, I saved a little piece and uh, planted it. And hopefully it'll sprout on out. Um, this right here is a um, Arizona Traveler. <laughs> That's a black cherry tomato. Uh, over here I filled this up with nothing but compost and so a lot of this stuff is sprouting up from old vegetables that I throw in there to break down to create a fertilizer and this right here just popped up these are uh, potatoes so I'm gonna be harvesting potatoes I planted this garlic there's another rosemary plant that I planted these tomato plants right here just popped up in there I'm gonna eventually pull those out probably give them to somebody um, because I'm not going to have the room and uh, you know for all that and uh, this right here is a pumpkin plant I'm growing these for my grandson he's just so in love with with pumpkins uh, so this is my first time ever growing pumpkins so I hope they turn out right <laughs> I'm doing that for my grandson 
Uh, I got a piece of ginger that's just popping up in here that I planted. Let me see. That look where where that little green shoot? Oh, uh, right there. That's my ginger. It's coming up in that bed. There's supposed to be some more, but they haven't sprouted up yet. That right there is some mint, and that right there is lemon balm. Yeah, but uh, that's basically about it right now. I still got some, add some more soil and stuff in. Had some low spots that was holding water. But um, I'm gonna keep you guys updated. I probably should should have did a, a beginning from when I started rebuilding my soil. <laughs> Old stamps. Yeah, one of my buddies just passing through. Talking about I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> But anyways, I'm going to keep y'all updated on this uh, organic journey of mine. And um, I'm going to try to do a video at least once a week to let you see how everything is progressing, if it progresses. I didn't spend a lot of money this year. That right there was a tomato that came up uh, in another bed that I show you. All those other tomato plants, so I just transferred it. I'm probably going to end up giving it uh, to a neighbor or something like that. But... Uh, Anyways, I'll keep you guys posted. Until the next time, peace.